All right, hello everybody. My name is Troy Harrison Christ and welcome to 20 Far Cry 5 tips and tricks. If you guys watched my last video, 25 Far Cry 5 combat tips and tricks, thank you very much and thank you to all the new subscribers to my channel. While the last video specifically focused on combat tips, today we're gonna be talking about all sorts of questing tips. Whether it is Easter egg locations, how to do a specific very hard prepper stash, whatever. Today, we're doing quest tips. Here we go. My name is Troy Harrison Christ. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, and let's see how quick we can get to 3,000 subscribers. Number one. The first tip is while you're using the compound bow at a long range, you have to aim pretty high above your enemies. A lot of people will think, uh, if I'm outside of about 30 feet to the enemy, maybe I should use a sniper or an assault rifle. That's really not the case. If you wanna aim up high above them Battlefield 4 style uh, with the old bullet drop, the arrows drop pretty similarly. They don't sway left to right, just aim above your enemies when you feel like you're not close enough to aim directly for the head. This works tremendously and you get some really deep bow shots. All right, next tip, here we go. Number two, another tip that may seem obvious for veteran Far Cry players like myself, but is still great knowledge to have, is use your environment while you're playing. In a mission where you have to hold a specific area against waves of attacks, guards will often group up together in obvious cover spots, hide behind cars or explosive barrels. Why would you hide behind an explosive barrel? I don't know, but they do this. Um, if you are in this situation, use your explosives to destroy multiple targets at once. Number three, Far Cry 5 can feel very daunting with the constant amount of activities being thrown at you, and players will want to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. We all want to beat this game so quick. Don't do this. Take your time while playing Far Cry 5. For example, after liberating an outpost, do not immediately mob to the next objective. There will often be gear and loot just lying around in all these outposts after you've cleared out all the enemies. Not to mention NPCs with new quests like prepper stash locations, which if you don't know, are just areas with a bunch of awesome loot. I know it's super easy to get distracted, but guys, take your time because there is a lot of fantastic content in this game that you might miss if you just rush through it. Number four, are you feeling low on mountain money? Do you need that new expensive attachment for the bow? Well, if you ever need more cash, the side quests all over the map are the best way to go. Any mission that is literally tagged side quest, you're probably gonna get like 500 to a thousand dollars after you complete it. Not to mention probably some new unlocks for guns, uh, vehicles and all sorts of different things. If you need money, do side quests. Also, do hunting, but I said that in the last video, so I can't say go hunting, but go hunting as well. Number five. Pro tip, when you catch on fire, do not get on a zip line. All right, I, everybody listen closely. I really wish I knew that before playing this game. If you catch on fire and then grab a zip line thinking it might put you out, no, it'll let you grab the zip line like normal, and you'll start gliding down the thing, but then all of a sudden the game goes, oh yeah, you're on fire, and then you fall on your back and then you're just, you're still on fire. Yeah, I mean, don't, I don't know why I tried to do this. I assumed that the momentum of the wind would take out the fire, but no, you just, you just are like, oh yeah, 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 I'm still on fire. Okay, I'm gonna fall off this thing now. You lose a lot of health. Don't do that. I really, really wish I knew that before playing the game. All right, next one. Number six, Far Cry 5 has many different types of vehicles to play around with, except motorcycles. Wait. What? What'd you just say, Troy? Far Cry 5 doesn't have motorcycles? You mean an entire state of Montana? There's not a single motorcycle? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Why? This whole game looks like there should be a biker gang quest. I don't, I don't. All right, sorry I got sidetracked. Anyway, if you want to unlock uh, vehicles with four wheels that are not motorcycles, go ahead and try the Clutch Nixon stunt quests. These are basically really fun, ridiculous uh, races that give you a... Uh, honestly really great rewards a ton of unlockable cars you get a bunch of cash and i'm pretty sure some of them are flying missions so you might be able to unlock some planes as well number seven do any of you aspire to be an amateur photographer do you only have a hundred instagram followers because you only post video game screenshots well this is the tip for you while playing on PC, there is a graphic setting called Resolution Scale, which is basically a very simple way of saying 
Texture Resolution Super Sampling. This lets you turn up the number of pixels each texture is rendered at, but then it scales back to your monitor's size. This is perfect for in-game screenshots. While I was making my 150 Far Cry 5 4K screenshots video, I was playing at a stable 30 FPS at 6K ultra settings, which is like playing on a 6K Xbox and they're still making games at 30 FPS. Anyways, the fact that you can play this game in 6K at a decent frame rate while you're trying to get nice pictures for a YouTube thumbnail is absolutely just insane. This engine is tremendous. Number eight. This tip was sent to me by RKSP215 in my YouTube comments. He says, another great way to earn skill points is by playing the arcade mode. And he would be absolutely right. The arcade mode is Ubisoft basically giving out their engine and it's like an in-game modding scene for people to make custom Far Cry maps and challenges and it gives you perk points for single player. It's a great tip and I honestly didn't even try it until this dude told me in the YouTube comments. So yeah, I mean, even this footage of me in the snow, that's Far Cry 5 in the arcade mode. It's fun, try it. Number nine. Did any of you guys play Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon? This was the 80s themed Far Cry expansion to Far Cry 3. Um, if you did, uh, there are some lovely Easter eggs referencing the beloved 80s Far Cry. Go ahead and head to this spot on the map when you're ready. It's kind of deep in face territory, so be careful while you're driving there. And uh, you can meet up with this dude named Guy Marvel, who is a famous crazy director shooting his new movie, Far Cry Blood Dragon 3, in theaters tomorrow. If you do his first quest of obtaining complete silence in the area surrounding his movie shoot, which is something I can relate to. Hey, hey, hey mom, can you please turn down your Netflix shows so I can go to stupid YouTube video? Thank you, that, that's fine, thank you very much. <laughs> if you do that, then he will grant you some lovely fourth wall breaking jokes, including what it is like to make a Ubisoft game. Some people think this is specific to Far Cry, but listen to this quote. This is every Ubisoft game. Blood Dragon 3 will be a masterpiece! Seriously, it has to be. I can't go back to working on shit like Far Cry. I'd rather put my balls in a vice and listen to everyone with their fucking opinions about world building and player motivation and believability. Oh, I'll kill myself, I swear to fucking God. Number 10. After completing the last quest I mentioned, leave the area for a little while and Guy Marvel will call you back because he needs a lead actor for his movie, Blood Dragon 3. All of his cast ran away because honestly, he's a psychotic director. Make sure all of you play this because it was one of the funnier quests in the game. Basically, you get a bunch of uh, blissed up, infected zombie type people to run into a studio and then you shoot a live movie, but instead of using special effects, you just get a bunch of headshots on uh, the cultists. Yeah, it's, it's, it's messed up, but it's a really funny quest. Make sure everybody does this. Number 11. This tip focuses on one of the hardest to enter prepper stashes, and it has a lot of very nice loot. Basically, anytime you find yourself in an air vehicle like a plane or a helicopter, but trust me, it's a lot easier to use a helicopter for this one, um, go ahead and mark this specific location on the map. This is the location of the Hangar Pains prepper stash. Fly to it and land on the roof whether or not anybody has told you to go there. It is only accessible through a small hole in the roof and it has no grapple points. I flew from the helipad at the wolf's den. Once you get inside, you will find a ton of explosive supplies, perk point books, which give you perk points. Um, you'll find a lot of cash. And then when you open the hangar doors, you will finally unlock the super badass plane, the pack hunter, which yes, it has rockets. Number 12. When you see a field of white flowers, which you will encounter on the quest I mentioned earlier about the Far Cry Blood Dragon movie, you might think, oh wow, this is an excellent stealth cover position. I'm gonna go sit in those white flowers. Nobody will find me. You, <laughs> you'd be wrong. These are bliss plants and they will make you trip stars. You will just, you'll freak out. You, I mean, eventually, I guess if you sit in there, um, it's not gonna end up very well. Anyways, you'll hallucinate and it'll be very hard to do any combat. Stay away from white flowers. Don't trust them. Number 13. 
on that same point, in these bliss fields, you will find infected. Uh, these people more resemble zombies and will often resurrect if you do not headshot them with a bow. Yes, they are infected by the bliss chemical and they, they will just keep charging at you. They are super annoying. Do not mess around with with guns or anything, I swear. Bow headshot or, or they're just going to keep getting up and they're going to keep charging at you. Look at these clips. It, it took forever to do this. Number 14. While you're looting, sometimes you will come across something that looks like a map. Guess what? It is a map. It's a map. It will reveal nearby locations of interest. Similar uh, to how previous Far Cry games made you climb a big tower that took 15 minutes and watch a long cutscene that took two minutes. It speeds up the entire process significantly. You find a map, it's like there's new locations on your map. You're like, cool. You don't have to climb a tower. You don't have to watch a cutscene to see all the new locations. You find a map, it shows you locations. Was that so hard? How did that take <laughs> six games to figure out? Oh my God. All right, uh, next, next one, here we go. Number 15, pro tip, loot as you fight. It takes the click of the E key on PC and you do not even have to hold it. It takes a lot less time to loot enemies if you do it as you take them down than trying to run around after the fight and find all of your arrows. This is very useful on story missions where enemies often disappear as soon as the mission is over. Number 16. For easy perk points, use every weapon for at least 10 kills. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's the shoddy or the snipes, you need 10 with it. If you don't like grenade launchers, whatever. It's easy points, get 10 and move on. It's three perk points for each weapon um, and explosives, I'm pretty sure are two perk points each. Just don't use the assault rifle the entire game and you'll get easy perk points. A lot of people find the weapon they like, they're like, I'm sticking to this, I'm not changing it. Don't do that. You, you gotta use everything in the game if you want perk points. That's how the game works. Number 17. Do you ever find yourself above an enemy holding a melee weapon like that Negan style spike bat? I know it doesn't have barbed wire, but I like using it because it makes me feel like Negan. All right, if you, if you have a melee weapon and you are above an enemy, you can jump down above them and it will do a death from above takedown. You need to do four of these for another three perk points. The same goes for the death from below takedown, which basically works as an Assassin's Creed ledge assassination. Number 18, fangs and guns for hire are only helpful if you assign targets for them to take down. This can be done from inside the camera or outside of the camera by clicking G or H. Sorry, I don't have any of the Xbox or PS4 key bindings. I never use a controller. Sorry, I just don't. And I'm not going to spend the time to do it. I'm lazy. I apologize. You also have challenges for those characters as well. Do not use Cheeseburger and Nick Wright the whole game. Maybe switch it to Boomer and Jess for a little while. You need to level them up so you get more perk points. Number 19. Like I said earlier, Far Cry 5 has a lot of different vehicles, except motorcycles, but a lot of people might forget about boats. The entire map of Far Cry 5 connects via river and lakes. If you are tired of the constant ambushes on the road of all the cultists just trying to just blow you up and ruin your day, then guys, grab a boat every once in a while. The entire map's connected. This might be the better means of travel. And a lot of people often forget about the boats. Number 20. The area from the opening sequence of Far Cry 5 is right in the middle of the map. You can go back to Joseph's compound whenever you like. Although you cannot get back into the church from the start of the game. I just randomly boated up to it and I thought, hey, that looked interesting. It turned out to be full of cultists and the area from the beginning of the game. All right, my name is Troy Harrison Christ. Thank you all for watching. Go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you get notifications on your cell phone whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much. My name is Troy Harrison Christ, like I've said a thousand times, and I'm out of here, even though I'm not. I'm just gonna still be in my house editing this video. Yeah, I'm out of here.